वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल प्रतिक अकेडमी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन सैम्पल न्यूमरिकल्स ऑन रिएक्शन टर्बाइन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज सेंट्रीफ्यूअल पंप सो वॉट इज पंप पंप इज अ डिवाइस विच इज यूज टू लिफ्ट वॉटर ओके सो इन इन पंप वी आर यूजिंग मैकेनिकल एनर्जी as an input and gives or it is used to rise water level that means we are increasing energy in pump sorry energy of water in pump so we are convert, converting mechanical energy into hydraulic energy by using pump okay main purpose of pump is to rise water level okay. or to increase potential energy of water then this is for pump and what is centrifugal pump if this pumping is carried out by using centrifugal effect then this is called as centrifugal pump okay if pumping is carried out by using centrifugal effect then it is called as centrifugal pump basically centrifugal pump is rotodynamic pump that means pumping action or energy transformation takes place due to rotodynamic action of rotor or impeller it is euler's equation are applicable here then this is radial flow pump it means flow is from impeller is radially that is in radial outward direction now let's see construction construction is very simple and if we look at first glance it is very much similar to our franz turbine in case of franz turbine we are taking water from dam and by using water power we are running our rotor here exactly opposite we are taking water from sump level okay here and by using mechanical energy we are delivering this water to high level or tank level here so this is the difference so let's see its main part volute or vertex casing so this is the casing it is increasing its diameter in area sorry in direction of flow in order to reduce velocity and convert it this reduced velocity into pressure energy and use this increased pressure to lift water okay then there is the impeller this part is impeller impeller is a rotating part in centrifugal pump which gives power to water and on impeller there are curved vents are there curved vents can be backward curved forward curved or radial curved or radial vents water is entering at eye of impeller the central part is called as eye of impeller and due to centrifugal action water is moving in outward direction as impeller is rotated now there is suction pipe suction pipe connects this eye of impeller or entry of impeller to tail rest level or below tail rest level it consists of pipe to carry water from below tail rest level to below sump level to eye of impeller within that pipe or within this suction pipe there are two parts one is foot wall and second one is a strainer this is the foot wall this t shaped wall this foot wall this is the one way wall Which is allowed to water flow in this upward direction, and downward direction flow is opposed here. So it maintains water level in this pump, and this is important to maintain water level inside centrifugal pump is very important. We will see this importance, or we will discuss importance of maintaining water level in next videos. Then there is a strainer. Strainer avoids entry of some foreign particles. or mud particles present in river into pump body these are the parts of pump when this pump is driven by electrical motor here there is a motor the motor shaft is connected to this impeller here when motor start when we use electrical power to drive motor motor rotates this shaft and shaft gets mechanical power this due to this shaft impeller start rotating 
when this impeller starts rotating then at the eye of the impeller vacuum is created and due to this vacuum here outside pressure is atmospheric pressure so water is moving from this higher pressure to low pressure regions and when water comes at eye of the impeller due to centrifugal effect it is forcefully moves towards casing or outside of impeller and while moving outside they acquire pressure and its energy is increased up and due to this increased pressure or head water is lifted to uh, our destination or tank so this is simple working of centrifugal pump now let's see classifications of pump this is important classification of centrifugal pump so first classification is single stage pump single stage means there is only one impeller if suppose this is a shaft then there is only one impeller on this shaft and this is a pump body then this type of pump is called as a single stage pump and if there are numbers of impellers are present on this shaft then the pumps are called as multi stage pump in case of single stage pump we take water from some level and deliver it to destination in single stage in case of multi stage pump we take initially water from some level at rf impeller then discharge from pump first pump is connected to inlet of second pump here again discharge from outlet is connected to inlet of last pump and lastly it is delivered to destination so this multi staging here is used to increase head over turbine okay. then single entry double entry pump suppose this is a impeller okay then if water is allowed to enter from only one direction and moves radially then this type of pump is called as single entry pump in case of double entry pump from both the sides of impeller water is entering radially and moves sorry entering radial centrally and moves out radially outward so entry is from both the sides it is double entry pump then depending upon liquid to be handled types are open semi open and closed okay so first see uh, open type of impeller open type of impeller means there is an inlet of impeller of of or of impeller and only vents are there there is no any supporting the, there is no any support or uh, this these are the only vents are there this this these are the vents and below that vents or above that vents there is no any support so only vents are attached to this of impeller so this is a open type impeller in case of semi open in case of semi open if suppose these are the vents then there is a single covering plate from either upside or downside is attached to the, then it is semi open uh, type of impeller that is these are the vents then they are surrounded by one single covering plate so these vents are supported from single side if vents these vents are supported from both the sides or covered by both the sides that is called as a closed type pump so this is a plate then there is another plate and within that plates vents are arranged radially so this is the closed type pump this type of pump is used for handling pure liquids this type of pump is used for pure liquids or having less viscous fluids this is used for having moderate viscosity pump moderate viscosity fluids and open type pump is used for highly viscous fluids for example slurries or mud to handle this type of fluids we are using open type of impellers then next is volute next is depending upon shape of casing classification is volute casing then volute casing with vertex chamber 
and diffuser or turbine pumps voltage casing means simple casing increasing its diameter which is the pump here then this is the impeller impeller which is rotated in this sense for this diagram area is increasing in direction of flow so this is the or simple volute pump the area is increased in order to reduce velocity and convert velocity head into pressure head at this point which is useful for lift water at high level then if you see its top view then this is the impeller this is the IF impeller and this is in casing casing is in more length here so energy is given impeller is giving energy up to this part only and within this part there is no any energy transformation and water is flowing on its own velocity and there is no any energy added to water now there is a now volute pump with volute casing with vertex chamber in case of that pump this is suppose say or volute casing then this is a, there is a impeller and impeller surrounding two impeller were provided one diffuser ring okay. diffuser ring diffuser ring is diffuser ring is provided surrounding two or uh, impeller then this type of pump is called as a uh, volute casing with vertex chamber pump here vertex chamber is a is called the integral part of casing most of time and there is no any moving part in impeller or it is not added any energy to water the, it, in this in this region water is moving with its own energy so its kinetic energy is really slow it is converted into its pressure energy or increases its pressure again if you say its top view then diffuser ring is having less cross sectional area than that of impeller so it avoids less area diffuser ring is having so the vertex chamber is having less area so it avoids ed formation in region and hence reduces losses and it is having more efficiency than volute casing pump then there is a diffuser or turbine pump it is similar to vertex chamber but it is having vents so if you saw its diagram then there is the impeller and there is a diffuser ring in case of diffuser ring it is similar to our vertex chamber but it is having vents or guide vents so they gives proper direction to water flow and again reduces losses which are present in vertex chamber so it is having more efficient than our um, sink volute pump so these are the classification depending upon shape of casing volute casing pump there is only volute casing in case of volute casing with vertex chamber there is a ring as an integral part of casing having less cross area to reduce ADs then diffuser means there is a ring with having guide blades to give proper direction around to impeller so these are the classifications and there are some other type of classification for for example a pump can be classified depending upon head under which they are operating means low head medium head high head then pumps can be classified depending upon its sharp position horizontal axis one and vertical axis one then depending upon specific speed we can classify pump as a low medium and high specific speed pumps we have not discussed that in detail but these are some important ones we have discussed this pump uh, in next video you will see what is working of 
scientific form in its velocity diagram. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel. If you have any doubts, then please contact us. Thank you.